Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video from Motone Retrofix. Uh, today we've been working on this uh, 21 plate Eldis sliding, uh, sliding door van uh, motorhome. It's on a Fiat Ducato base, so um, pretty standard to all the other ones that we've worked on and you've watched videos of and stuff like that, apart from the much bigger ones that are Merc bases and things. Um, today we've done the uh, Eaton component upgrade in the doors and we've done stage one sound deadening and then we've also done the uh, like under glove box to cup holder conversion with the under cup holder sub from Alpine and then um, a new update from the screen that was in here so it was this aftermarket um, kind of tablet style screen um, and we fitted an Alpine Irony F 904 which is the older generation which means it has built-in nav and all that sort of jazz still has carplay but it's a wired carplay um, and it does kind of essentially look similar to this it's just nicer more refined works better with the vehicle um, the speakers that we've removed are the standard basic poor quality van speakers that come in all Ducatos, it's the same with other vehicles, you know, transporters and stuff like that. They've got the same sort of similar style factory speakers, they're pretty poor. So the upgrade to the Eaton's um, with just brings a lot more um, clarity and a much nicer sound basically. Then the sub obviously just gives you that full extension of frequencies that everyone enjoys. So we'll, uh, we'll jump in and take a look. Uh, right, so with the Halo, um, standard to all the other, like the newer versions of Halos and things we fit and stuff, it's just like a little tablet screen that sits off. It's fixed on the older ones though, so once we put it in place, that's where it sits. Um, in terms of the cup holder um, transformation, if you like, upgrade, uh, you've had you know, the old glove box that was there, we've removed that put in all the new frame that goes in the back with the little amplifier to run the subwoofer that's down here. Um, and then the cup holder goes in. Uh, we've got a how-to video on this, which you'll be able to watch as well if you wanted to fit one of these yourself. That doesn't show the sub, it's just that conversion to having a more useful space down here. Um, then in terms of the speakers and things, they're all fitted in factory locations, so you can't see any of it um, on show. What I did was I utilised the mounts that the original tweeters came with, removed the original tweeters and then mounted the new ones into them so they're all still tucked away behind here um, at a nice kind of firing angle for the driver and the passenger. Um, but again, like I said, 
not on not on show or anything. Then the same with the door speakers, they're mounted in their factory positions, but obviously with all their sound deadening um, that we did on that first kind of stage one uh, that we do on, on that main panel. Uh, if you wanted to improve the sound, you could go like further with stage two and do the outer skin of the door. So your door's a lot more, more solid, basically. You wouldn't get that inner reverberation of sound. Um, tricky to go any further with these sort of door cards because the actual door card itself is very big so it's not like you can really firm much else um, but it's all gonna sound a lot better and work a lot better um, GPS for the nav unit is just mounted over on the top of the dash in the corner it's the best place for it really um, gets the least amount of interference from everything um, it's nicely away from kind of clocks and the head unit itself and it gets a nice clear view of the sky straight through the window. Uh, microphone is just mounted up in the middle here, just nice and small and neat. It's one of the things, best place for it really. Um, can't really have it anywhere else without it being ugly. We don't like to fit them over by the doors because if you want to drive along your windows open, people are on the phone to you are just going to get a load of wind noise and stuff, which is pointless. Plus also your passenger can use it as well. Um, so let's chuck the unit on and you'll see our custom splash screens that we do for people. It's just a nice little smart touch, can't like them. And then also your mates can see where it's been fitted. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll show, let's turn that down. So obviously we've retained all the steering wheel controls uh, because this is one of the vans that's got all that. Uh, we've also all your, your time and settings and everything, none of that's been affected because of the interface we've used for the head unit. So if we come out, um, this fan didn't have like a factory camera as such, so it wasn't going through all the main kind of factory quad lock and stuff. It had an aftermarket camera, but able to retain that so I can either press the camera button and the camera comes up. Admittedly, a little bit of a fuzzy camera, but there's not a lot we can do about that. That's the camera that was fitted on here. And then likewise, if I pop it into reverse, it picks up that signal and you get your nice clear image. Um, and then yeah, you've got your dab was built into the van, uh, your radio and everything. And then you've got obviously Bluetooth audio. And when you then plug your phone into the USB, which is in this pocket just here under a little fly lead, once your phone's plugged in, it can be tucked in there. And then with CarPlay, obviously the way it works is uh, you don't need to be touching your phone anyway because it's on the screen so with it being tucked away charged you don't have to worry about it and it all works uh, and then because this is the older model it then has nav built in so that's obviously working off the gps and um, yeah just it's tom tom nav so it's really good really nice and accurate but you've also got that option of using nav off you you know carplay with ways and google maps and stuff like that um so that's about it really just a quick little run through to show you what we've done how it's integrated and how it all works really nicely and uh this owner's now gonna enjoy uh, a much nicer sound in his van and a few more mod cons and things so uh, if you want something similar in your van you know it can be integrated with your steering wheel and things and, um, and you're not going to have any issues, then uh, give us a shout, go onto the website or the contact form, uh, give us a call or pop by and see us and uh, we'll see what we can sort out for you. Thanks for watching.